What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to go over some EQ techniques that are going to help your mix. We'll be working in Logic Pro and then we're also going to use Fab Filters Pro Q3. There's three main reasons why we use an equalizer. We need to cut, filter and boost certain frequencies. So let's get started. I have this beat that I'm working on. The first thing is we're going to EQ the 808. You can hear it's pretty dominant. We're going to cut some low end around 40 hertz. We want to remove some of that rumble. We'll boost at 80, dip around 300, and then a little boost again around 3000. We want to hear the harmonics of that bass. Now let's do the kick. For the kick, I use the preset that Fat Filter comes with called Kick Fixer. I also adjusted to taste. We're definitely gonna cut a little bit around 60 hertz. We'll boost for that punch, another dip to reduce that muddiness, and then we'll boost again around the 3000 range just so we can get a nice punchy kick. Let's listen to that. Okay, that sounds good. Next we'll EQ our snare or our clap. In hip hop, you can do similar techniques on both. We're definitely going to cut about 100 hertz off that clap. But we're also going to boost around 1200 and then we'll put a high shelf at 5000. We want it to snap a little bit. It's a little different than you would do for pop or other genres. Now we're going to EQ our hi-hats. For this, we're going to use another preset from FabFilter. I like this one because it gives it some life. Kind of livens up our hi-hat. The next element that we're going to EQ is our guitar. This is a simple melody, and so it's not a very dominant feature of our track. We're definitely going to cut off some of that low end. And then we'll boost the high shelf so we can get some of that tone. If we were doing a different genre, we would definitely boost some of the other frequencies to make it more prominent. For our next element, I created an aux channel for our synths. There's three of them, and I've routed them all to it, and I'm just simply going to cut off some low end and boost some of the higher frequencies so we can get a nice uniform sound. Now you can hear some saturation and a little bit of distortion. I'm okay with that, it doesn't kill this track. It also gives it a dark feel, which is what I'm going for. We can always go back and change some things if we need to. All right, let's hear what we came up with. This beat is called Wraith. You can actually download it on my beat store. 